Hey, 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 Stubby here, and we are back. Oh man, it has been a crazy few months, and I do apologize. But we're back, we're better than ever. Got my new office set up, got a bomb new gaming rig going, and we are playing FTB Skies, and I am just amazed by this build. This is where you start at. It's this awesome, almost like steampunk ish flying shit. Oh, this place is cool. Been wandering around it. I like it. But in order to start this pack, we have a couple checkboxes I think we need to hit, and we need to venture out and choose our island. It's just so oh, there's actually I don't think I made it up there. Oh, is there a way up there? I don't want to go up. I don't think there's actually a nice way to get there. Oh, anyway, let's look at these quests. So to start with. We have Welcome to the Skies. Quests are optional, but they will help. Ability bottle. Very nice. And let's see, that is all that. So we are going to be getting started. And that's how you set up your island, especially for multiplayer. We got to see a C of B. And there is events. Usually you get sticks, but I think there is some other things. Die, be spawning. Cool. Join and create a team island. I think that's it. Let us just get this going. All right. So coming in here, you go through this beautiful little portal. The journey begins here. So the islands you have to choose from. You have the FTB Sky Island, which is what you'd come to expect from FTB. Just a, a beautiful little starting island. Uh, you have the Anti-Sky Island, which is made out of anti-blocks, or anti-matter blocks, I believe, anti-blocks. Uh, Minimalist, which is your traditional yeah, couple couple, couple grass blocks, got a tree and a chest. It's pretty cool. Chosen Architect has designed one, which this one is cool. It has kind of like a castle courtyard vibe to it. Uh, I, you know, I, I checked it out. I wandered around. It, it's really cool looking. I like it. And there's a few little surprises in there if you want to play that one. And then you have the compact machines island where you start on the largest uh, compact. Excuse me, compact machines where you inside a inside a block, and it's pretty cool. I I was torn. I like, think this uh, compact sky island is a really cool start, but I think we're just gonna go with the first one. We're gonna run with it, and we're gonna make it make it our own. So let us load in and let's see what we got here. Uh, we are in Dripstone Caves. All right. Interesting biome to start in. Let's see. Looking around. Banners. Pressure plates. Got ourselves some beautiful, vivid grass over here. Like it. Like it. Some dry grass. Got ourselves some flax and some rice. See some kelp down there. Nice, good little jump start. We got our trees everywhere. We got some wood if we want to go ahead and tear this stuff down. I like it. This is not a not a bad little area to start in, really. I mean, we've got plenty of room. Let's check out the quest. But we can start here, grab the tomb. Starting points we have on this quest line for this getting started one. We have to get ourselves some flax string. We have to get ourselves some logs. And we have to get ourselves some cobblestone. So the flax is over here. What is that? I didn't even notice this. Azalea, huh? Okay. And just right click around. Might as well grab ourselves some food sources. Does that work? Can we auto click now? Well, how do I get rice seed? Interesting. So does it not plant there? All right, maybe that one. I want to get us moving. We need to do the shift right click thing. 
Right, so let's clear out our inventory. Click away, and we should be getting uh, pebbles and little soil clumps. Just grab ourselves a nice bunch of these. We're going to need a good amount. Come on, let's get ourselves at least a stack. Cool. And we need some logs. So I think just to do it, do we take... Uh, is that a chest? Is there anything in there? No. Oh, dude, that's cool. Man, I want to leave this. I don't really want to mess with this stuff. Uh, so let's see. How can we do it? We have saplings, right? Yeah, let's not mess with what they have designed. Oh, let's keep it. So we'll throw a sapling down. We'll grab our bone meal. And we will ultimine, or FTB ultimine. Grab that off. Do it again. Collect all the little berries that we get out of it. Need to change that uh, whistle that calls the luggage mod over to you. That's what that whistling is. It's the same hotkey as the ultimine. Come on. There we go. How many do we need to get? Okay, we got them. I think we'll just start with that for now. Let's just call that right there a good starting point. We'll come over here by our campfire. And we'll go. We need to collect the logs, which we got. We need to make a composter. Oh, nice. They give us a nice little automated setup already. That's cool. And the pebbles, which we get. Pet rock and some dirt. Hmm. So for blaze powder, you have all you really need for the material. Yes, yes, yes. We have to make a stone hammer, and we have to make our sifting setup. So let us go ahead and make our composter, which is just slabs. So we'll grab ourselves crafting table, and I think we'll just throw it right over here next to the campfire, right? Grab ourselves some slabs. And we'll take the quest reward so we can automate this little process for bone meal. Nice little starter setup. And which way do we want to do it? Let's do the gilded on the bottom. We'll do the hopper into the back. Composter. And I think I'll just do it like this so it's nice and readily available from the front. I don't like that look. No, let me up there, sir. There we go. Now we can drop stuff in, automate our little bone meal production. So the stone hammer. Very easy to make. It'll need some cobblestone and some stone rods. Which I think that should be the rods, right? And we'll need a couple of those. And that should be our stone hammer. Go ahead and get ourselves some storage going. Get ourselves a little something something and I think for the time being we'll throw one there and we'll throw one there. And start cleaning up some of this other stuff we have. Clumps of soil, boom. And we'll put all of our plant products, food products, let's put those on this side. And might as well throw our books over there for now, and all of this other stuff, let's just put over here. Alright, now we need to make ourselves gravel, sand, and dust. We'll take... And that. And we'll throw a cobblestone down. Boom, boom, boom. That's our gravel. And throw down two. That gives us sand. And that one 
give those dust. We'll need to make, oh, you know, let's grab this. Don't think that's going to be enough. Flax needs to grow, so let us grab some bone meal, get over our flax, and make it daytime. That'll get us another four. Cool. Come back over here, grab those. Get a bed. So our nighttime down right here for now. Beautiful. Ooh, what is that thing? Like a tadpole looking thing? It is a tadpole. Nice. We're going to have frogs. All right, so we've got that quest line done, and now we need to make black seed, straw, a string mesh. So that'll be eight sticks and a string. Just like that. And now we have enough to go make wooden hopper chicken cuts. Yes. Enough to make our sifter, which should be a couple planks there, stone. Got And to get going on that, we will need some furnaces. And again, we're just going to stick these somewhere. There you go. Grab us up that and saplings. Moan trees, thank you, thank you. And just leave these around to grow. Actually, I might space them out a little more. One, two, two. Two. Right there. Now we have a little growing area. Let's see, we'll need some of that. Let's grab ourselves one there, put those up there. We'll need... This, that looks good. Take the food out. I'm really hoping that I can keep some semblance of organization this time around. Wait for one of those to get done. And while we're doing that, let's look. So sugar cane. Sugar cane is used in several recipes. Uh, if your island doesn't spawn with any, we can sift some. I'm not seeing any. Nope. Not really seeing it. Oh, did I see sea pickles, though? That's cool. Get that running. I want to figure out this rice. Why are you not wanting to work? Because I thought it would. Let's just try this. Ah, uh, yep. So it wants to be on dirt. Okay. It's like, I know it'll plant. I know it'll plant. Ah, stubby, stubby, stubby. Why is it not working? Let's grab our planks. Grab our wood. And we can get to our sifter. So we need two planks, cobblestone, three stone, and a wooden gear, which is a button and some sticks.
Ah, cattle. Boom. And we have a sifter. And we need to make a hand crank, which will be a regular button, some planks, and a cobblestone. Very, very simple. Yeah, that's everything. I believe that was the design. Yeah, middle. Close. And let's go ahead and make ourselves just another round of chests. These are going to start going everywhere, honestly, at this point, it looks like. And we can probably just do it. You can do many of these. So the hand crank, I believe, will run uh, five sifters. So when I'm setting it up, I want to give myself a little room. Like, I'm probably going to end up having to move those trees. But we'll just do it right here, here, uh, here. No, not you. You, you, and you. And we'll take the mesh, and you drop the mesh right there, and that is your setup. And I guess hopper. Nice force. If that is. Look at that. See, now I'm really glad I did that. So we'll do one, two, three, four. We can do another setup there. Just like that. So we just really need to come up with a few more. That is nice. Uh, a splicer in here. two of those and what is the wooden hopper so plank got it and I think I had some more yes I did One, two. Perfect. Two more meshes. And we have our crank. And we have that bad boy. Now this thing will eat through your hunger. So you need to be ready for that. But we can then put all this stuff up. Start looking at some of the other items we can run through it. So we'll take dust, sand, and gravel. You can also use dirt. Go ahead and put some gravel, some sand, some dust, and crank away and just watch them go. And just like that, I am hungry. I need some food. Come on. We got ourselves some iron nuggets. We got some cocoa beans, some sugar cane, gunpowder, bone meal, and appetite. Nice. So, sugar cane. Perfect. And that gets us some bone meal, some paper, a sponge, a sponge bee spawn egg, andesite, fish stew, andesite, and we're going to have to get ourselves to an andesite mesh, which is part the next level of meshes. I believe there is four. Uh, it was in X, no, yeah. So we have 
the string, we have andesite, we have mana steel, and then we have amethyst. And each level gives you a little bit more. So when you go to the andesite, you get uh, this waterlogged one. It'll give you some of these materials. We'll have netherrack materials, soul sand materials, uh, and some materials. There's also gravel materials, dirt materials, and they'll all just kind of work through. Progression. More flex and a force backpack. Cool. All right, so let's see. Now that we're running three of these, uh, I think we can go ahead, wrap those ones up, and we could take those off. And let's look at mesh recipe for andesite. So that's just eight sticks and an andesite alloy. Not bad at all. I think we can do that. That. There's another andesite alloy. Now, I could go ahead and make these meshes. Easy. Not a problem. But why make the meshes when we can work on automating, right? Come on. So this is powered by Create, as you can see. So in our automation line, the getting started, they want us to get the water wheel. Make one, we get four more. So it'd be silly not to make one, right? That's the way I see it. And that is going to be as simple as water wheel. Make it in large cog, which is a shaft and two planks. That. And... Why did I do slabs? I'm silly. Two planks. Water wheel. That's where I needed the slabs. Now to get us three more water wheels, some more shafts, and some food. Nice. And we need to look at how we're going to do it. So I'm really thinking of doing something nice and simple. I'll probably just power it right along here with some water and just turn and convert as a temporary before we can expand and move it out. So the way we'll end up doing this, I'm thinking something like, hmm. So I need to go right here. Come out. Vertical. Three of those. I think that'll work. Call that our little area. Now we're not going to do anything fancy with this or anything special. We do need to come up with a bucket. I do not believe there is wood. There is clay. But in order to get the clay, we need an andesite mesh waterlogged. And to get iron. Andesite mesh gives us iron. So let's go ahead and make one andesite mesh. I think that's going to be the smart thing to do here. And you. Oh, look at that. We've got another one. Oh, a bucket. Perfect. Huh. See, that was a smart thing to do. We are going to need some more andesite. Uh, looks like I have enough to make one more alloy. I'm hoping that's enough. We need that. We'll need some cobblestone. Make ourselves an axe. And you write. There we go. And then we have our andesite casing. You strip the uh, strip the log, hit it with a piece of andesite alloy, and you got the casing. What I need is a box. So we'll need two casings and probably three more. So four, eight, 
9, 10, 11. Make another casing. Things we gotta do, right? Drop that in. I'm gonna get us some more iron. All right, went through that, and I got a nice big upgrade in what materials we had. Take that off. Clean up again. Food, food, food. And you can go. Might as well. Leave that and that. Get ourselves some iron going. Yeah, that's food. What are you doing in there? So much random stuff. Uh, I need a better sorting. Right, so let's grab that, that. Thank you. Into that. And we should be able to now make our two gearboxes. And I did that realizing I really only needed one. But that's okay. I'm going to make it vertical. It's going to go right there. And that'll be our main setup. Go ahead and grab cobblestone for now. Some water. And we can start looking at our process. So it's going to flow this way is the nice easy. Hello, froggy. You stay here. So let us see. Yeah. That is about how we're going to make it. Break that bad boy off. And let us go ahead and try to clear up the bottom. Do I have a way down? I think I do. Nice. And we'll just clean that up right there, nice and enclosed. And I believe that will run it the way I want it to. No, you're not spinning. What am I missing? What it was. All right, so I got this bad boy working. Uh, again, it's gonna stay a little ugly mess. I'll clean it up though. And two more. And hopefully, this is enough to not overstress our design. Now. Got that spinning. We'll throw this bad boy right here. And she's a working. Look at that. Ah, oh, perfection. 
Nice, easy, simple design. We can clear these bricks off. We don't need them. And now we have our first level of automation. We still have to hammer it down. We're going to have to make the gravel and stuff ourselves. But we have something, which is way better than nothing until we get to our next step, which is how I do plan on automating this stuff. So in between episodes, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just keep working on supplies. Uh, probably expand this area over here a little bit and get some of this moved. But really, it's just going to be building up resources so we can have fun. So guys, thanks for stopping by. It's so good to be back. I appreciate every one of you, and I will see you next time. Stubby out.